for all the balance bars. <laughs> I'm Mikey. And we're here to help you improve, improve your balance. balance. So today we have some fun props. We've got some balance beams here. This is an advanced workout from the Harvard Medical School Special Report on Better Balance. So you can get these online on Amazon, so we'll have links if you want to pick up your own. Otherwise, uh, if you don't have this, this kind of squishy foam balance beam, just yeah. get a blanket. This is just a blanket rolled up you know, three or four times. and. And it really works well. It's actually harder than that one, so I know that previous video thought it might have been a fair match, oh. but I was just, you know. <laughs> excuses, excuses. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so the, uh, the, the cushion here is kind of squishy and foamy, and as you can see, it's kind of wide and it's lightweight. So this is a fun one to have around the house and you can practice with shoes or bare feet. Um, if you don't have either one, you know, set up a bunch of pillows or this also is a nice one, a square cushion. Uh, that'll work for some of the things today. So if you're ready, we're gonna start with a mambo step. So uh, get your lubega on and pretty much start at one end. And the way to do it is you just line up one foot in front of the other and you might wanna start off the beam and just, you know, start with that and you just lean forward and rock back. Step forward, rock back. Forward, back. So you're just kind of stepping a little, rocking back. A little sense of rhythm. So get some music going here. Rock forward, rock back. Let your arms just swing naturally. Just kind of next to you. Just like that. Little shuffles forward and back. Forward and back. And when you get to the end, you can do the same foot forward. And now just walk backwards. Forward, back. Yeah, make it fun, make it a little harder by exaggerating your movements a little bit. <clears throat> Putting on a fedora, whatever. <laughs> Run forward and back, nice. Yeah, good work. All right, and once you've gone forward and back, switch your feet. And now the same thing with the other foot leading. Okay, so you just rock forward, rock back. Forward, back. So it's all about shifting your weight. Good. It's going to be a little easier with shoes on and a little harder with bare feet. So keep that in mind also. Do you have mumbo number five stuck in your head? I really it won't <laughs> stop. <laughs> all right. Forward and back. Forward and back. All right. Nice. Yeah. You can do a little extra step in Yeah, just sort of play with it there. Kind of fun to switch things up. All right, so the next one is the tandem stand with rotation. So tandem standing is when one foot is right in front of the other, okay? And again, this might be a little tricky at first. You may want to start off with these just on the floor and get used to it and then go from there. So yeah, so as you can see, you're standing. Yep. And then you're twisting. Just rotate. This is really tough. Yeah, it was like being on a surfboard. Your head can either stay fixed forward to make it a little easier if you have a kind of stable visual focal point, or to make it harder, let your head turn with your chest. Okay? And you can also do it with a wider stance. So if your feet are wider apart, it's going to be a little bit easier. To a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends how far. <laughs> keep them together. And yeah, if you want, you can keep them close together. So do you know how you know if your regular stance are goofy on a surfboard or skateboard? Uh -uh. Right foot forward means you're goofy, like <laughs> me, and left foot forward is a regular stance. So whichever one is more comfortable, that's what you'll use on a surfboard. Good enough. Now you know. You were probably wondering. So let's do the other foot. So if you're using the other side that you're not used to, this may be harder. As you can see, regular stance is harder for me. I like to have my right foot in front. And for actually most people though, the left foot in front is more natural. So find that tandem stance and just twist. 
yeah, and your head can turn or it can stay fixed. All right, nicely done. Yeah, this is really good for the hips and then the lower back, kind of using them at the same time but separately. That's really challenging. So. All right, so next one, walk forward, walk back. So basically, same thing as um, the mambo, but you're just gonna walk straight forward and back. You can use your hands for balance. Um, this could be a nice way if you have a balance bar or something to hang on to. So this is the Bo Yoga balance bar. This is really handy if you have a cane or a walking stick that works too. And it just gives you a little bit of support and you don't have to use it, but it's nice to know that you've got it there if you need it. So it is sort of like walking along you know, a log in the forest or something. So before you get onto a log, you can practice it at home. But this can be really good. So forward, backward, obviously, will be more challenging. If you're really wanting a challenge, also try moving your head around. So just like you're looking around as you're walking. If you do it faster, it's going to be a little harder, especially on the blanket. Looking up or looking down is another challenge. All right, nicely done. You want to take us through the rock step? Yeah, so the rock step, we've done it uh, sort of in a few different videos, but you're just moving, they're going to hold the knee up for just a second. So 90 degrees in front of you, you can step forward, and the other one comes up, hold it, balance, step forward, hold it, balance. You, know, you can start to you know, close your eyes or look to the side if you want. All right, this is challenging enough, that's okay. You can go backwards with it too, but we're just giving that pause in between. That pause in between, it really makes those muscle, those balancing muscles fire. So notice it, take a nice relaxing breath, pause. And so as you can tell, having an unstable surface, something soft or squishy or a little wobbly, makes your body work harder. So this is a really good challenge, and then when you go back to doing this on the ground, it's going to feel like a piece of cake. You might try it walking sideways like this as you go. Mm. A little bit of a variation. I'll use this movement to open the door. I'll have my groceries and I'll hold them on my knee <laughs> and go for the lock. And <laughs> yeah, or if you're coming out of the grocery store to your car and you open it and you need to close it, this is a good one to close the uh, <laughs> car door. If you're, uh, if you're cooking and you forgot that the refrigerator is open, you can do it backward and you can kind of <laughs> close the door. That's one of my moves, home practices. Yeah. yeah, make it a little challenging. Try with your torso turning, your head turning. Go back to the grapevine if you want. That's a really tough one. a level of difficulty to any of these so in different videos we feel like they're easy or a little slow or you're getting better you know look for one of these whether it's you know something you make at home or something you, you know find online and then the last one or actually there's two more all right this is really going to strengthen the muscles again so it's just going to be a lunge all right so you can get into a nice lunge position all right and then just try to lower that back knee towards the ground. It doesn't have to touch, even just a little bit down is going to start to start to challenge those muscles. All right, in same good form, try not to let your knee go past your ankle. So look to go down, all right, and less forward with your movement. All right, so drop your hips straight down if you can. Yeah, and I'm using a balance bar too. This is really handy for lunges because you have a narrow Base of support, one foot in front of the other. So having the ability to hold on to something to the side can really help you balance. 
So this is how you play with making it more challenging for your feet, but more support for your hands. So then, as you get used to it, you can use the balance bar less and less, or maybe uh, just kind of lightly touch it. Yeah, let's switch sides here. And so this, this book, this guide, has your know, repetitions in it. So whenever you're doing this by yourself, you can either just do a time, follow along with us, or if you just want to get into a, a nice steady practice, count out 10, 20, whatever works for you, so you can get on to the next exercise. lunges really work these important leg muscles and the muscles around your joints so this can really help support your hips your knees and your ankles yeah feel feel getting tired in all those places <laughs> yeah. nice all right shake them out a little bit all right and the last one is just going to be squats so even less balancey they actually have you turn to the side all right uh, if you want to be sort of forward on your toes a little bit all right, that can add the, the, the challenge there, but that can be tough on people's uh, uh, bottom of their feet too, the plantar fascia there can be sore. So however you can add a little bit of balance, all right, and then we're gonna go into the squat. All right, so feet apart, all right, and again, we're keeping a good alignment and we're going straight down. You can use a wall, the balance bar, And your knees are going straight towards the tip of your toes. So sort of at a 45 degree angle, all right? And we don't wanna lean forward, all right? Or have those knees go too far past our knees. You really wanna think of going straight down as opposed to forward at all. All right, and if you wanna add a variation, you can step and squat, so you step, squat, up, together, step, squat, up, together, step, so a little side step, you can do a squat in between if you want. And, and playing, yeah, with the distance between your feet, you know, so having them together and squatting, you know, is a good way to work it too. Just a little different motion. Maybe you feel it more on the outside of your legs here. All right. Yeah. Ooh, my legs are toast. Yeah, so uh, as many of those as you want to do, uh, that's it for the exercises here. Um, yeah, so you can see there's lots of variations. So once you have a tool like this, it's really nice because then you can play with it, you can use it, your kids, grandkids, it becomes a really fun way to bring balance exercises into the home. So I never regret any of these tools and products that I buy. I really recommend you get your own. We'll have a link if you want to pick one up for yourself. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, yeah, so we'll share that with you as well. All right, so thanks for watching. I'm Mikey. I'm Nate. Until next time, stay balanced, my friends. friends.